Cabrera facing the Nationals for the fifth time in his career. All four of the starts, and now five here today, have come in Miami. He's actually never faced the Nationals in D.C. One up and one down for Edward Cabrera this afternoon. Goes back to the curveball and gets the strikeout. So two up and two down in the first K today for Edward Cabrera. And the pitch is over. Called strike three. Rung him up on that heater. Two strikeouts and a perfect top of the first for Edward Cabrera. We go to the bottom of the first inning here in Miami. And now it's 24-year-old left-hander Mitchell Parker against Luis Arise. Left-handed hitter against the left-handed pitcher. Oh, one, two, arise, and that a ground ball, base hit through that left side. Third baseman Lipscomb was in a little bit, so that took away some of his range. Marlins had the leadoff man on. That'll bring Josh Bell to the plate. He's really struggling right now, Rod. He's 0 for 4 last night. High hold, the 2 1 pitch is a ground ball hit towards the middle of the diamond. Passed Abrams into center field, the base hit. Nice to see Josh Bell get himself a base knock. And now the Marlins have runners at first and second with one out here in the bottom of the first. Here comes the 3 0. Chisholm lays off a fastball that missed outside ball four. That is the first walk of the young big league career for Mitchell Parker and that's going to get Jim Hickey the pitching coach to go out and have a conversation with him. And now the Marlins have the bases loaded with one out here in the bottom of the first inning in a scoreless game and the batter is Avi Garcia. And now the pitch swing and a miss he threw him another one and he swung at all of them and strikes out for the second out of the inning. So now the bases are loaded but there's two outs and Tim Anderson is the hitter. He was one for four in the opener. Anderson watches one go all the way to the backstop. Ruiz is on it. Flips it towards the plate. Then he bobbles it. A run will score. And it's 1-0 Miami. Well, that's one way to get a run. Whether they want to go pass ball or wild pitch, doesn't matter. It's 1-0 Marlins. Here is Emmanuel Rivera hitting 217 against lefties, but 250 against righties. Marlins need that big two-out hit right here. The kick in the pitch. Swinging a drive to right center field. Rosario on the run, calling for it. He's there, and he makes the catch for the out. Brings up Trey Lipscomb with two down. Two for four night for Trey last night with a run scored. Here's the pitch. Swinging a line drive into left field. A solid single for Lipscomb off a curveball left over the plate. Played back by De La Cruz. Nationals first hit and first base runner is Trey Lipscomb. One, two, is swung on it. Missed strike three. He went right back to the well with a changeup to get Rosario. He's down on strikes. Here's Luis Arise. Nobody on base in two outs. one nothing. the Marlins lead. Swung on and grounded. Up the middle on a base hit for Arise. He's two for two. His nickname is the Sprinkler in <laughs> Venezuela because he sprinkles the ball to the left. There goes Arise. We're going to ground ball through the middle. Abrams to his left has it. The throw on to Manessis in time for the out to retire the side. One away. Here's Jacob Young. Now the pitch. Swing a dribbler charging into third is going to be Bruhan. He'll pick it up with his bare hand and not make a throw. So Bruhan, he's a little upset right now. He was playing in on the grass or the turf, if you will, earlier in the count. But once he got the two strikes, he backed up. And so Young delivers a swinging bunt hit. He's got a big lead at first. Abrams in the box. There goes the runner. The pitch is a strike. The throw by Bethancourt is not going to be in time. So that's a stolen base for Young. Number seven on the season. Number 20 to begin his big league career without being caught. That is tied for sixth most in MLB history to begin a career. This is 20 for 20 now in stolen bases for the youngster Jacob Young going back to last year. Bounce to second base for a rise. Abrams moves the runner over, but the runner is at third now with two outs. So the tying run is now 90 feet away with Jesse Winker coming to the plate. The pitch is high, gets by the catcher. Young didn't see it. Now he's going to score the ball to the backstop. This game is tied as Young crosses the plate on what should be a pass ball. Nationals won, Marlins won. It is a pass ball. Bethancourt for a moment thought he had it in the glove, but he didn't. But Bethancourt's reaction is like where he saw the ball. Well, Young's going to score. He didn't go hard after it. But they're very fortunate to now have runners at second and third with two outs tied at one here in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss. Pick him up. Had a baby. Splitter gets Mitchell Parker out of the third inning. Another lengthy one. Lipscomb with a base hit to left his first time up the pitch swung on little looper left center field that's going to drop in front of Brian De La Cruz a base hit for Lipscomb sounded like he might have cracked the bat on that but he's two for two so runners first and second again but with one out Rosario at second sends out another runner at first runners going and what do we have here as the catcher went to throw I don't know if the throw hit off the batter Young and deflected over to the Marlins dugout as the runners go to second and third. Yeah, Rosario stealing on the pitch, and you know, as, as long as it's not intentional, anything there for Young, it's good. The Marlins bring the infield in. Yeah, his hand hit the bat. 
but you know that that happened in a playoff game mm -hmm. between the Blue Jays and the Rangers. Infield in the pitch, swing and a jam shot, ground ball to first. They're throwing home, and the diving tag. Bethancourt couldn't hold on to the ball. Rosario has scored, and the Nationals lead two to one as the Marlins look to their dugout to maybe look at a replay. The ball spun out. Did he have it long enough? Ball in the field stands. We couldn't hear it, but we could read lips. What a trip around the bases for Eddie Rosario. So now the bases are loaded for Jesse Winker. Hopes to make the Marlins pay here. He hasn't seen it well yet against Cabrera. Now the set of the pitch. Winker swings, hits it high in the air to deep right field. Back goes the right fielder. Garcia looking up, and it is gone. Goodbye. Bang. Zoom goes Jesse Winker. It's a grand slam. And the Nationals put a big crooked number on the board here in the top of inning number five. For Winker, his third home run of the year, it gives him 13 runs batted in. And boy, we said he'd like to make them pay. Jesse with the big blow in the game. The Nationals have not had many of these, you know, big hits with runners on base. Their first grand slam of the season. Swing a line drive down the third base line. Diving stop and a bounce by Bruhani. Pops up and he throws on a couple of hops. Rivera can't pick it. And so Young's going to come down the line and he's going to score. So the Nationals lead seven to one. Great effort by Bruhan diving to take away a hit from Winker, but his throw skipped into Rivera, couldn't handle it. And so Young kept on around third. He scores, and the Nationals add to their lead. Ruiz batting right-handed against the tall, lanky, 6'4", 221-pound Emmanuel. David Ruiz the left. This ball's crushed. Is it staying fair? It's off the fair pole. It's a home run for Kbert Ruiz. Number two on the season off the foul pole and left, and the Nationals lead 8-1. to one. It's only Ruiz's second career home run batting right-handed. The only question is, would it stay fair? And it did, clanking off the foul pole. So two down here, a run in on the Ruiz homer, Nick Senzel, the 2-2 pitch. Swing a long drive left field for Senzel, way back this one goes, and it is long gone over the Marlins bullpen. Nick Senzel's third homer of the year makes it 9-1 to one Nationals. Two solo homers in this frame, two bombs to left field. That's how Senzel's gotten his RBI so far with three solo home runs. That ball was going over the wall. Jacob Young hustling down the line as he always does. Seventh inning is not over for the Nets. Abrams down the line. That's fair. Go three. You That'll know get into the corner and watch these boys run. Jacob Young. We got helmets flying everywhere. Gonna ease home. CJ, a stand up triple. That is elite speed on display. And the Nets are into double digits. Just gets around a, a little bit of a sinker right here. But it's perfect. CJ's going to run, and it's going to be super easy, and he's going to lose his helmet, and we have helmets everywhere. Lipscomb tags from second, he'll go to third. So here's Nick Senzel. Chance to drive in another run, and he'll do just that. Lipscomb scampers home on the 6-3. Senzel gets RBI number four, his first RBI not on a homer. So here's Christian Bethencourt still in search of his first hit of the year. He's going to get it right here. And that is lined into center field. This is going to get down for a base hit. And Christian Bethencourt has his first hit of the season. It's an RBI single here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Everybody cheering. Well, he's got a batting average now. He sure does. There's a fly ball. This is smashed in the air center field. Going back. Warning track. Whoa, this is gone. Otto Lopez with a two-run homer. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning for the Miami Marlins. First career home run for Otto Lopez, and he just snuck it over the center field wall. Yeah, he didn't he didn't try to pull one down the line where it's 330. He went straight away center field. Now the pitch. Swing a ground ball to first. Manessis has it. He's gonna flip it to Rainey over to cover in time for the out. And a curly W's in the books here in Miami. Last night a tight one. The Nationals got two in the eighth to break a one-all tie and win three to one. And the Nationals on their way to their second straight win here at Lone Depot Park.